to get you out of bed and on, on with, with your day. day. I was going to go hard, but whatever. Oh my goodness. Gosh. Okay, moving on. So today, uh, we are actually going to talk to you guys about lunch, because last time that you saw us uh, in our chef's attire, which by the way, borrowed chef's coat, so I feel more official. Whose chef coat is that? It's Brayton's. <laughs> so I we're going to call him and say it's it. So he was in like this cooking competition thingy, and they right. all made everybody like these like little chef's coats. I know he's like super cool and super awesome, even though I had to borrow my kitchen. And oh, oh. Okay, well we're gonna go ahead and move on past that. Mine is from Italy. Yeah. It's one of those souvenirs my parents brought back when they oh, so nice. after they went. I know. Yeah. I, I love souvenirs. Okay. Yeah. So, so, la so last week we talked to you guys about breakfast, and now we want to move on and talk to you guys a little bit about lunch and an easy way that you can do lunch, uh, maybe while your parents aren't home or, you know, while they are home. It's just a simple, easy, quick, and, let's face it, inexpensive meal. Yep. Okay, so again, like we did last week, precautions. Do this with your parents' permission. Wash your hands. Definitely. Make sure they're clean. Okay, and today we're going to use the microwave again. Now, Miss Crown likes to do hers in the microwave. I prefer mine on the stove because I like mine to be crispy on the outside and gooey on the inside. So, um, if you have, again, your parents' permission, okay, then feel free to like use the stove for this or um, any other appliances that you have. So, let's talk about ingredients. All right, so we're gonna start off with two tortillas. So you're gonna wanna use two because it's a quesadilla, not a taco, and you're gonna wanna stack the two of them. So you need two that are fairly even in size. Right, and even if like you're running out, say there's only one left, you can fold it in half. Mm -hmm. uh, it just sometimes works better for it to be stackable. Yep. Okay, and then we also have some ham that we're gonna put it in today, but you can use any kind of breakfast meat. You can yeah. use no meat if you're a veg vegetarian. Yeah. Um, okay, I really and then like mine with bacon or with some like leftover ooh. chicken from the night before. So like if your parents make chicken and then you like just heat that back up in the microwave and put oh, it in your quesadilla. It yeah, that'd mm. be good. Okay, so I particularly like to use shredded cheese in mine. This one is specifically three cheese and Mexican style blended. <laughs> Um, and then I actually prefer to do kind of a mix of both the shredded cheese and some small chunks of Velveeta. Uh, you can get these out of your package, um, you know, when you open it up. Obviously, mine's been used because I like quesadillas. Uh, but you can get that without using a knife. Um, I would caution you, obviously, against using knives while your parents aren't home. Um, and I would just use a spoon to kind of scoop out. And you want pretty small chunks like the size of a dime or else it's going to take forever to melt. Yeah. Okay, so then we also have some salsa here. I okay? like my salsa. Which you can see here. Mm -hmm. If you like it spicier, then get a spicier version of salsa. Or else there are hot, hot sauces sauce. that if you guys have, you can always add to it. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty much it for the ingredients. Again, the only requirement for this is tortilla and cheese. Other than that, really, that's it. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I don't know personally, when I was a kid, I used to make quesadillas with peanut butter and chocolate chips. And it's not super healthy. No, but it's not. super delicious. Okay, well maybe we could do that for like a dessert video or something. Dessert video. Okay, or a snack. Protein is, there's a lot of protein in, um... Snacky snacks. Okay, moving on. Sorry. There's a lot of protein in peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway, so like I said, just classic tortilla. All you really need is the tortillas mm -hmm. and the cheese, all right? So we're going to start kind of putting this together. Um, I'll go ahead and shred up the ham if you want to do the cheese. Only okay, yeah. get your spray going. So you can finger shred your ham just by kind of picking it up uh, in chunks and then kind of roll it together and pull it apart. You want to do small bite-sized pieces or else you're going to take a bite of your quesadilla and get a gigantic like cloth-like thing of ham in there. Uh, like we said, you can use all sorts of different types of meat. You can also do this completely vegetarian if you want. Um, it just really depends on your style. Yep. All right, so um, on the cheese, I always like to leave a little bit of room around the edges so it doesn't like goo out too much. So if you can see that hopefully in the video, um, because I, because once it microwaves on the plate, sometimes I know it gets stuck. Okay, I'm gonna put just a little bit of ham, and then I prefer mine with a little bit of salsa, but I think this prior, you don't typically put salsa on I like to dip it in salsa, but we can go ahead and put that on See, there. I dip mine in ranch. Ooh, mm. look at that. I put the salsa on there, and then I dip it in the ranch, because I'm from the Midwest. Yeah, and I like to mix my ranch and salsa together. Hidden Valley Ranch. The only yes. ranch to yes. have in your Midwest kitchen. Oh, man. Unless you're like me, and you're doing no dairy, and... She has gross ranch. It's not... It was, it was okay. It was decent. It was okay. I prefer get down. I prefer get your little puppy nose down. I no. prefer different um 
kind of ranch, but if you are lactose intolerant, then one Don't really good one really good <laughs> brand I found was uh, like it uses Greek yogurt, and so because of the different like cultures and Greek yogurt, I mean you it might work for you. Okay, so as you can see, we kind of sandwiched it together so that it, both sides um, are on, and then the cheese is completely covered or mostly covered. Yep. Okay, we're gonna then take it and put it in our microwave. How long are we gonna microwave this one? Um, I always like to start things at just 30 seconds just to see how it goes. Okay, and then you're gonna lift the tortillas up, check in between, is the cheese melted? That's the real test. And when you're lifting those up, it's really important that you don't burn yourself, so I would use a fork to mm -hmm. kind of lift that up just a little bit so you can see if the cheese is melting. We know that while our 30 seconds is going, what do we need to be doing right now? We need to be cleaning up our kitchen, mm -hmm. yeah. all right? Yeah. So we're gonna put these ingredients away. Uh, make sure that you seal everything up nice and tight again because you don't want anything going bad because uh, I'm pretty sure, again, your parents won't be happy if you ruin all the food. Okay, okay. okay. I'm gonna check on this really quickly using the fork. Yep, and that leftover ham that we have could be used for a quesadilla tomorrow or later in the week. Okay, I'm gonna give this just another 30 seconds. Okay, and how did you know it needed more time? So when I lifted it up, I still saw some whole shreds of cheese. Uh, so that's a pretty good indication to me that it's not all the way melted yet. Okay, little miss, you are gonna be banned from the kitchen if you don't knock it off. Ooh, I agree, no dogs on the table. You notice how she watched me while I did that? Because this is the only creature I get to use my teacher voice on anymore. It's true. You guys have been spared. <laughs> Yep. All right. So we're going right. to put this up in the fridge. Check this one more time. I hear it sizzling. That looks much better. Right. So I'm going to give you guys kind of a close-up shot while she's doing that. So I'm going to stick my fork in between the two layers here, and I'm going to pull that up just a little bit to double check. I'm sorry. Hang on. There we go. To double check. Oh, the puppy's on the table again. That all the cheese is melted. Get down. Get down. Teach your voice. It works. <laughs> So while Miss Pryor is going to show you how to, she uh, kind of cuts it, do you cut yours up a little bit? Or I cut mine up. I do. I usually like to just cut it like both ways, like horizontal, vertical, and then I have four little triangles. And then I always grab myself a little saucer dish and I take my ranch and just kind of put it in there because I like to dip um, out of, you know, dishes. Okay, you don't need a sharp knife to do this. Basic butter knife. Butter knife will work. Again, the tortilla is a little bit hot. So please, please, please be careful and wash your hands. I have waitress fingers, is what I call it, because... Yeah, can't feel our fingertips anymore. Nope. It's really bad. That happens when you carry hot plates all day. All, all right. day. Um, the other thing you might want to also be cautious of is when you pull your plate out of the microwave, depending on how long you've had to microwave it, I would say if it's over a minute that it's been cooking, you're going to want to pull that out with a hot pad or with a towel to make sure you protect your precious little fingers. Yep. All right, guys. So that's it, okay? That's how to make an easy lunch for yourself, your siblings, yep. whoever's at your house at the time. Super okay? easy. So remember, make sure you have your parents' permission. Please. And stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye, guys. Have a good day. <laughs>